Paper Street uses Gather Content to help you organize both new and existing content that will show on your new website. You should have received an email directly from Gather Content that contained a link. When you click on that link, it'll open up this view. This is the initial view for your project. You'll see on the left-hand side, there's the product, project status bar, and on the right-hand side shows recent activity. But most of the work you'll be doing will actually be in the content tab. If we open up the content tab, you'll see that your project has already been pre-populated with your approved site architecture. You'll notice that some of the pages have a little carrot next to them. If you click on that carrot, it'll open up the sub-pages within that section. So in this example, attorneys is the main page and John Smith, Joanna Smith, and Jay Smith are the three sub-pages within that main attorney section. When you click on a page, it opens up the detailed view of that page and has a place where you could add the copy for that specific page. You can add the copy by either in copying and pasting directly from Microsoft Word or actually clicking in the body box and texting and typing in as needed. You'll notice that when you click in the body box, a toolbar populates at the upper left hand corner. This toolbar gives you the ability to bold, italicize, underline, you can add an ordered list or a bulleted list. It also gives you the ability to hyperlink. If needed, you can put in the correct formatting for a new header. So for example, if you're adding this header to break up some of the text on the page, this big A, little a formatting button allows you to label that header in H2 or in H3, whatever is appropriate. And typically, you're going to be using H2 and H3. The H1s are always the name of the page, so the H1 for this page would be about. If you need to add a link to a page, uh, you, you don't know what the new URLs are going to be for your website. And let's say we want to link this sentence here to the new family law page. We can highlight it and then go up to this link box, insert a link, and we can put in a placeholder. And by doing that, we'll put www and then say link to family law page. Insert. So now you'll see that it has the link there. And when you click on it, you'll notice this little pop up. That, that which is, it's a direction for our developers saying, hey, link this to X, Y, and Z page. You'll also notice on this view that there's a place for you to add a title tag and a meta description if you would like. The title tag and meta description are needed for SEO purposes. Paper Street provides basic SEO for all of our contracts. So if you don't have a specific title tag and meta description, we'll take care of that part for you. Also from this view, you can change the status of a page. There are quite a few statuses in the majority of Gather Content projects. When you add a new page, the status is automatically a draft. The next step up is re ready for review. Depending on your type of contract, Paper Street might have already added copy to your Gather Content file. If we did that for you, we'll mark those pages in orange so that you know there's copy there, but you still have to look at it. We, it's not in a finalized state yet. Pages in red mean that the content is missing. So if you're at a higher level contract, pages in red mean that they're brand new pages, they don't have any existing content. If you're at the plus level, most of your pages are likely going to be in red, and that's because you're responsible for pulling over that content from your current website. Pages that are in blue, it's a little hard to see here, pages in blue are mean that Paper Street is writing them. So if your contract comes with a content writing contract, or if you later down the road choose to hire Paper Street to write some of your core pages, we would mark those pages in blue and you don't have any action required. Pages in yellow mean that those pages are going to be hidden. So further down the project, if you just have a few practice area pages or maybe a few bios missing and you don't want to hold up the entire project while you're waiting for that content, you can mark those pages hidden. And Paper Street will create the pages in the content management system and we'll just leave them blank. We'll keep them in draft form. And when you're ready, you can go into the content management system, add the copy, and then just hit the publish button. Pages in green are pages that are approved. When you mark a page approved, it's just kind of a nod to me, letting me know that you're pretty much done with the page. I'm not going to do anything with the pages in green. There's a formal approval letter that comes at the very end of the process. So marking pages in green just helps everybody stay on the same page with, with what is completed and what's not. Pages in black are marked no action required. Uh, typically, pages in black are placeholder pages, and some of the larger projects, there's a, note pro there's a note page at the very end that's also labeled in black. Pages in purple are redirects. Pages in purple don't have any action required. Um, a redirect might be necessary, say, for example, 
um, I want to link my uh, a sub page of my family law section is also applicable under business law. And that one page will live in both sections, but it's only going to be a master in say the family law section. So the second page that lives under business law would link to that main family law section. Also from this view, you can change the name of the page or you can archive the page. Gather content automatically saves your work. So if I tried to exit out of my browser or close this window and it hadn't automatically saved, I would be prompted to wait a few seconds so that it could do its saving. There's also a save button here in the upper left hand corner. When you're done with the page, you can go back to the content tab in the black bar at the very top. And this will bring you back to your site architecture view. The great thing about gather content is it makes you the driver of your copy. You're going to find as you move forward with the content organization process that some pages you might not need or some pages you need to rename or maybe you need to create a whole new section or delete an entire section. If you need to add a new page, you can do that using the green button at the top right. Add the name of the page and then choose the parent of that page. So basically you're choosing the section you want to add it in. So if I'm going to add this test page to practice areas, I want to choose the practice area section and it will be added directly under business law. Then you need to choose the template. And for the most part, you'll be using either the blog post template, the attorney template, the general template, or the practices template. In this case, I'm adding a practice area, so I'm going to choose practices. When you create a new page, it's automatically labeled in gray as a draft, and it automatically goes to the very bottom of that section. So let's go back up to the content tab and you can see where the page has been added under practices at the very bottom. You may be choosing to order your practice areas and your returning bios in a different order. Perhaps you want them in alphabetical order or you're ordering them as by some sort of interior hierarchy. You can reorder the items with this reorder items box. And when you click on this, it opens up a drag and drop feature that allows you to change the order of the pages. So for example, I can move tests, this test page to the very top. I can move it as a subpage of family law or I can move it as into a, a main navigation page. From this view, you can also change the name of the page. So I'm going to save those changes. Back in the main view, if you click on a page and you check this little box, you'll notice that an action, blue action box pops up. From this drop down, you can do a few things. You can update the status of the page. This is changing the color. So if I needed to change this from gray to red, I could do that with this, this option. Um, you can also archive the item. You have the option of setting a due date for pages and also assigning people to pages. So if in your firm you have multiple people working in gather content, you can divide up who does what work using the assign people and then the due date function. I'm gonna archive this page. And the example that we've looked at has just the main body box, but there's a few templates that are a bit different, and those are really the attorney bios and the blog posts. So I'm going to open up both of these examples. You'll see that the attorney bio pages, they have many different boxes. You just need to fill in the fields. Title, is, it a par is this person a partner? Are they of counsel? Are they an attorney, or associate attorney? Your email, phone number, fax, um, an office name, if this applies to you. If you have multiple offices, one in Miami, one in Fort Lauderdale, you would put in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, whatever was applicable. Body text is the narrative, the actual paragraphs of the bio, and bulleted information is going to be terms like practice areas, um, bar admissions, professional affiliations, etc. The news post also has multiple boxes. You'll see that there's a place for you to put the category. You can specify the date. If the date is not important, then you can leave this blank and Paper Street will populate it with the date that we import the content from Gather Content. You can specify an author and note that you can use a default name like admin or the firm name, for example, Paper Street, or you can make that author specifically someone at the firm. So I can type in here John Smith as the author. The abstract or the excerpt is usually a summary of the body text. It's usually one or two sentences and on your main blog landing page will show the excerpt instead of the entire blog post, just for a cleaner look. You add the body text and then you'll add any related tags. So for example, if I need this by, if I need this news post to show up on my family law page, I'm going to add family law. But if it's also related to my personal injury page, I'm going to add personal injury too. 
but you know it might also be related to my to Joanna Smith and I wanted to show in her bio so I'm going to add a place to I'm going to add her name there too as a tag when it's completed I'm going to update the status to approved and then we can go back to my main view so that's pretty much gather content in a nutshell you're an expert in under 11 minutes on how to use gather content my name is Allison uh, you should already have my contact information. If you don't, you can call Paper Street's main number, 954-523-2181. I'm more than happy to answer any of your Gather Content questions.